Number 54, a 0.02 ohm ammeter is placed in series with a 10 ohm resistor in a circuit. Draw a circuit diagram. All right, so basically here's your circuit, right? You got your ammeter here. So just simply draw a little circle, write a little A. You got some resistance on over here. They told you that this resistor here, we'll call it R1, is equal to 10 ohms. And inside of this ammeter now, there's a resistance. Now, generally speaking, I like to draw my resistance kind of over it just it makes sense to me, right, that the current is flowing through and the resistance is inside of that ammeter. Um, R, then I'll call this 2, is equal to 0 0.0, 0 0.02 ohms. However, though, technically speaking, you probably should just put it inside of this circuit, okay? So this would be the technically correct picture here without this up there, but I'm going to look at it. Right. So now, letter uh, B. So it says calculate the resistance of the combination. You know if this combination is in series, we're just simply going to add them up because the combination in series is just R1 plus R2. So resistance in series is just going to be 10 plus then the 0 0.02. So obviously, you know, this is just 10.02. And basically, uh, yeah, considering sig figs, if when we add them together, 0 0.2, yeah. So we should go out to this value. So that's how many ohms it is. Then, letter now, uh, C, if the voltage is kept the same across the combination as it was through the 10 ohm resistor alone, what percent decrease, what is the percent decrease in the current? So letter C, you got to take this piece by piece. So it says if the voltage is kept the same. In other words, what that tells me is that the voltage alone, without this ammeter there, should equal then the voltage in series. All right. Now, considering Ohm's law, you know that V is equal to IR. So what that means is now I can simply plug in the current alone times the resistance alone must equal then the current in series multiplied by the resistance in series. Now what they're asking us to solve for is they're asking us what, what is the percent decrease in the current, right? Or in other words, what they really want us to find, what essentially they want us to find here in terms of a fraction is they want us to find the final current relative to the initial current, okay? The way that they're framing this is that the combination in series is the final and the original was it alone. So in other words, what I need to do is divide out the IA or cross multiply it on down. And I want to isolate that fraction, this. So therefore I had to multiply that or divide that on across, however you want to look at it. And here's now my ratio. So what this tells me is that the current in series relative to the current alone will equal the current, uh, the resistance alone, which is what? just 10 ohms, divided by then the resistance in series, which we found was 10.02. So when we now do this division, we realize we're going to get a fraction less than one. 10 divided by 10.02, 0 0.998, right? 0 0.998. Now that represents the fractional change, all right? To turn this fractional change into a percent, all you simply have to do, if the fractional change is less than one, you follow this going to take that fractional change, 0 0.998, subtract, oops, sorry, you're going to take one, because it has to come out to be positive, you're going to take one, and you're going to, I can just give you absolute value too, it doesn't really matter, anyway, I'm going to take one and subtract out now this percent, or excuse me, this fractional change, and then multiply it by 100 to get to the percent, all right, that's the way to do it, so just take one, subtract that value from it, and it works out to be now, times that, by the way, by 100 then, and this works out to be about 0. Point, you know, depending upon how many sig figs you need now, I'll go out for whatever, 1996%, right? That's the percent change, right? Very, very, very small. Um, then letter D, it says if the current is kept the same, now not the voltage anymore, but the current is kept the same, right? It's asking the same question now. So I'll do it up here for, I'll do it on the top, oops, top left. So if the current is kept the same, so the current alone is equal to then the uh, current in series. So just substitute in Ohm's law, this is the voltage alone divided by then the resistance alone will then equal the uh, voltage in series divided by the resistance in series. We wanna find basically the uh, voltage, right, increase, or essentially the final relative to the initial. So we're just gonna simply cross multiply these two terms, Y 
because I want to solve for this fractional change. If I can solve for this fractional change, I can find my percent, right? Just like how we discussed. So the resistance in series was 10.02. The resistance alone was just 10 because the ammeter wasn't there. This equals then Vs over Va. And, and when we calculate this now, it'd be 10.02 divided by 10. Now what this works out to be is 1.002. But that should make sense if you started with 10, right? And you went to 10.02, right? It represents a 1.002 fractional change. Now, as opposed to this particular case, when your fractional change is greater than one, now what you're going to do is you're going to take that and subtract one from it, okay? And then multiply it by 100. So when you do that, right, you're going to take that, it's going to be uh, 0.002 then, and then multiply that by 100, so it comes up to 0.2%, all right? So it's very close to the change, not identical though, but it's very close to the change here uh, in the current. Um, you know, another formula I could give you here is I could give you kind of just the absolute value, right? Because no matter what, you're doing a subtraction. So whether it comes up positive or negative. So basically the formula I can give you is this. I can say your fractional change, FC minus one times 100, that will equal then your percent. So you can always, you know, you can use this formula. Those are absolute value bars. So now if you do this, right, you know, the other way, if you take 0 0.998, 0 0.998 minus one from it, you get a negative, right? 0.1996, right? Remember, you got to take the exact value from before because you might be finding point, it might be point, uh, point 0.2 if you use the rounded value. But if you take that exact value, you'll find the exact same answer. Take the absolute value, make it positive, and then multiply by 100. All right. Anyway, that's it. And then party found the changes significant. Eh, I don't know. They're pretty small. So I guess not. Anyway, guys, thank you. Very, I'm not sure what that word was. But guys and girls, thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe if you can. And I will see you soon. Take care.